Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Action Figure Friday where, yes, we are back for some more Star Wars The Black Series action figures. And we have a handful of exclusive ones. Honestly, I can't exactly remember. I guess GameStop exclusive, I believe GameStop exclusive. Well, yeah, definitely GameStop exclusive. Uh, Best Buy exclusive and a Target exclusive, I think. And we're here, of course, to open up Clone Commander Fox from the Clone Wars IG-11. No spoilers, from the Mandalorian. And we have a, an Imperial Shock Trooper. Star Wars Battlefront, and we have this awesome, brand new C-3PO and Babu Frick. Uh, it's like this new character. He's got the bandolier, and he's got the bowcaster, and I'm excited to check these guys out. So let's start right here with the easy to love Shock Trooper. And I wouldn't mind having some more of these, and I, you know, I have Battlefront. This is not Battlefront 2. For some reason I was thinking it was Battlefront, but I don't, did Battlefront didn't have, um, did not have, a story mode, did it? I know they did a small Battlefront 2 story mode, but the, that's kind of a bummer. I guess I should show you the back of the box. Sorry, I'm doing this in a hurry. I'm a little bit out of practice, a little bit out of practice. <laughs> and that's, again, usually how you can tell something is an exclusive. Although I'm not entirely sure on that. If you know better, please, by all means, do educate me in the comments below so I can learn more about this because we have some awesome Black, Furies, Black, fig, Black Series figures coming from The Mandalorian very, very soon. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull this guy out. And he's basically your standard Stormtrooper, just with a nice little repaint. Um, nothing too wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that. It's like I tell everybody, hey, you wanna get me something for Christmas? Just buy me Troopers. You see Troopers, it's fine. Or off-world Jawas. <laughs> All right, so I like that he's already packaged with his gun. Oh, he looks great. The paint on this is great. And the Imperial Shock Trooper, Clone Shock Trooper versions, I always really liked too. So this is actually really neat. Lots of articulation, as you would expect from a Black Series Star Wars figure. I mean, look at how much neck range that has. That's pretty insane. Lots of twist there, and it's even double-jointed, so you can uns, 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 uns. So that's really nice. That's one of the best necks I've seen. Uh, let's see how the shoulders work. Can the, sh the shoulders should be able to come out, but the, uh, well, that's kind of a bummer. That's not really designed to be flappy, so you can't actually bring the arm straight out. Hmm, okay. I was just looking to see if there's some hidden articulation in there. So that's a little bit bummer. So they aren't gonna come out, they do swing. You get some upper bicep twist there. Double jointed elbow, looks like, and it uh, looks pretty good. It's gonna hide in there pretty well. You get some, do you get any rock, paper, scissors on the hands here? I think this is a slightly older figure, by the way. It does not appear to really have much back and forth give, but you do get the twist. And he does have his blaster in there finger on the trigger, and you can put the blaster in the holster. So that's real nice. Some mid torso, a little bit of bend here, a little bit of twist, nothing in the lower torso. This is all rubberized. Well, the holster's rubberized. This is rubberized too, but it's a much harder plastic. The legs do come out. They do go back and forth, and you have some upper thigh twist there. Looks like a double jointed knee. Doesn't look too terrible. I've seen much worse knees bend, so that's pretty good for posing. And the feet, have a wide range of movement from side to side there, and of course back and forth, so that's really nice. And yeah, that's a really nice uh, action figure. Some great articulation and a fantastic paint job. I love that helmet. I believe I'm buying this helmet tomorrow because I now have the X-Wing helmet and I really love it, and I'm gonna get the Boba Fett helmet, and I'm just digging what they're doing with these new helmets. All right, so let's move on now to Clone Commander Fox. I am doing a Clone Wars rewatch. I haven't quite gotten back up to him. I So many clones, you gotta give me some slack here. I can't remember all the clones or all of their stories, but I did just do a little bit of a re-education, I guess, uh, by using some Wikipedia, just to learn a little bit. And I'm pretty excited about this one. I do love my clones, I do love my troopers. I didn't wanna open from the top because it's easier for thumbnails if I go in from the bottom, but the tape is weird on the bottom, there we go. Um, so, you know, I'm always happy to have those. I used with the three three quarters, I had a problem because I was an army builder. Now I just try to squad build is what I say. <laughs> you know, you have a set number, not just infinite infantry. I like that alliteration. I like the alliteration of infinite infantry, but try saying that a bunch of times fast. And it's probably gonna be the same piece of paperwork you get in these other figures. That's something they're doing in the newer ones these days. Nothing else in the box there. And he comes with a few extra accessories because he does have that ARC Trooper kind of vibe going on, being a captain. So he's gonna have his little blaster pistols as well. So get all this out of the way. Well, eventually we will. 
There we go, got that one, got that one. And we freed that trooper from carbonite. All right, all right, all right. So he's got a lot of extra little head bits and pieces here. He actually seems to have less articulation. Well, no, it's still pretty well articulated, but he doesn't have that back and forth in the head. I do love the visor. There's some great detail paint work right up on top of the visor. I love the dirt work on the shoulders. You can get the arms up a little bit because they left a little bit more room between the shoulders there. Pretty much the same articulation on the arms. Elbow looks even nicer because you got the elbow bit. Sadly, I do not see any uh, rock, paper, scissors on the, <laughs> no hinge joints on the wrists. Upper torso is about the same. Mid torso, same, that's the same. Legs are pretty much the same with the double jointed knee, but you get the knee pads. Feet are basically the same. They're just a little bit stiff on the joints and probably the feet aren't gonna flatten out as much this way because that's all gonna click together. Those are lower than usual. Rubberized holsters, but they definitely will take the blaster pistols. So we can slide those right in there. We'll slide that right in there. And then we'll give him the long rifle for this since the other guy has the short rifle. And see, this is where I really wish we did have that hinge in the wrist. There is a hinge in the wrist. I just found it, but it's in an awkward position. So, okay. But I mean, we can make this work pretty easily here. I just took the gun out of his hand. You know what? We're just gonna do this for the purposes of this video so I don't get too bogged down <laughs> in weapon placement. Hey, come on guys. He needs a little thing so he's ordered. Oh yeah, there's definitely a hinge there. Okay, well, I'm glad I found it. But that is Commander Fox, and he is Foxy. He needs a, it's like he's got his Tide t-shirt on. I'm doing the Wayne's World. Anyways, we're gonna move on. We're gonna check out IG Taika Waititi 11. So again, I am dying to tell you some spoilers. Well, not tell you spoilers for the art of telling you spoilers, for the act of telling you spoilers, but I do wanna talk about some things here, but I won't, especially because it's one thing if you're on Twitter, and I have, uh, you know, as far as the spoilers go, I'm a sp I hate spoilers. I try to protect people as much as I can, but there is kind of a balance of people need to be able to talk about the show at a certain point, and they need to be able to promote the show so I can see both sides. But it's one thing if you're on Twitter and you get spoiled. It's another thing if you're watching an action figure video and just randomly get spoilers. So I'm not gonna tell you anything about it. But I do know I'm very excited to have this figure and I almost missed him, but I, I got him through Best Buy, which by the way, there's another Best Buy exclusive, man, uh, the Mandalorian uh, action figure that uh, just went up for pre-order today as of me filming this. And oh yeah, I got my pre-order in. You will see it open on this one. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say it here. Be careful pulling him out. For some reason, they have his hands behind the plastic here. So you don't wanna kinda of tear those off accidentally. Come on. Let's, let's do it this way. Let me see we can work this one little bit out because I'm a little bit concerned about getting that through the plastic without destroying it. There we go, we did it. We are successful. And we have IG-88. Now, let's see. Okay, good, he does have multiple guns. And you'll notice there is a little peg here and there's a little peg there so that you can get the gun to actually stay in the hand. I think that is very clever of them. We'll deal more with that in a minute. Same on this one, you have a blaster peg. Although I don't know that, I think maybe that one's actually supposed to go there. So I, I wish it was a little bit more, you know, uh, up to the individual who's putting the figure together, which gun can go where but it does seem that they want you to do it that way. Just gotta line that up. All right, now you think this one would have a lot of articulation, but let's see what we actually have. The head spins, but unfortunately, you do not get the triple spins. Like these three bits, or at least it should maybe have a spin here. It's not just tight, it doesn't spin. So that's a little bit of a bummer. This might be mostly an IG-88 repaint. Of course, you've got that there. You do have a ball jointed upper arm. Um, there's no, is there elbow bend? And I'm just missing it. Wait, does that actually, oh, okay. The elbow bend is hidden in there. So you do get some elbow bend, that's good. So that's a pivoted ball joint kind of thing there. No wrist articulation, understood. Upper torso, a little bit of twist, but the harness, of course. Oh, you got a place for his blaster, that's nice. The bandolier's in the way a little bit. Legs definitely go up and back. No coming out to the side. You do get some uh, upper thigh there. Is there knee? Yes, there is knee bends. Excellent, that's pretty well designed to keep that going. And of course you get that on the feet. 
but no real twists or turns. You do have figure pegs if you need him, though. Oh my god. Ah, oh, the Mandalorian is so good. All right, so there's IG-11, and that is awesome, and I really, really like it. And I can't wait to keep getting more Mandalorian figures. But now let's move on to the last piece of the puzzle for today. We have our... Taking one last look at my friends. Uh, C-3PO and Babufa Frick. So uh, just real quick, I also want to point out, I, I, you know, I hear a lot of people complain when Free, Free Peel's like, one last look at my friends. Well, A, we don't know which friends he's talking about. We assume he's talking about Poe and Finn and, and Ray. And I'm talking from the trailer, haven't seen the movie yet. And uh, and a lot of people are like, he doesn't even know them. He barely knows them. Well, we all, most of us understand this movie is like a year after the other movies. And, you know, they've been to war together for a year. Even if they hadn't been in the trenches in the war, you know somebody for a year and you like them, you're gonna be their friend. How long do you think it takes to become somebody's friend? What is that argument about? I don't understand that argument. All right, so we have some awesome pieces here. I cannot wait to find out what the deal with this is. I mean, it'd be wonderful to find out at the at the uh, actual premiere, but I don't know. I think that's just not gonna happen. I think I had one last shot at it, and uh, <laughs> and I greatly appreciate Brandon Davis and comicbook.com, everybody else trying to get me there, but I kind of feel like I would have heard something by now, you know, so I would have time to plan, and I have not, so. So of course you can take the bandolier off and it does go to show you just how large that bandolier is. And now you're gonna get a full on golden 3PO. And I guess we have seen full golden 3PO before. I was thinking like he's always got something different but that's probably not true. So let's take a look at his articulation and then we'll actually put him together. So the head you get there, he's got some up and down, yes, no. Um, actually a lot more range of that than I thought. It just, you kind of have to lift up and over a little bit there. So that's really nice. Arms twist here. That twists up there. Oh, so you can twist at the uh, upper thigh, up, upper bicep as well as at the shoulder. You do get some really well, you gotta, you wanna be a little careful so you don't snap those or bend those, but you do get a little bit of elbow articulation. Plenty of spin in the wrist, I'm not seeing. Yeah, you get a little bit of a rock, paper, scissors hinge there, so that's pretty good. No upper torso, well, I guess technically that's the upper torso. Plenty of kind of ball joint there. Legs don't really come out much. They do move forward a little bit. It's more of a twist there than anything. Knees do bend, so that's good. And you get some feet articulation. A little bit of side to side, not a whole lot. Feet pegs. And a really nice 3PO. Now let's take a look at this little guy. Oh wow, he, I, oops. <laughs> don't worry, it's fine. It's just a ball joint. So you can get a little bit of articulation in his arms there. That's pretty nice. Oh, his welding mask even comes down. I'm gonna move all this out of the way just so the camera knows to focus on that. That's really cool, actually. Oh man, there's even torso articulation in this thing that's this tiny? That's crazy. Look at that cute face. Anybody else getting a podling vibe from uh, Dark Crystal? I'm kind of loving that. Is this what happened to Hup? <laughs> all right, so let's put this bowcaster together here. Where's the thing for it? I haven't put one of these together in a while. For some reason, my brain is having a hard time wrapping around it. Does it just go on the nose? Why Why all of a sudden do I not remember how what a bowcaster looks like? Where does the actual bow go? Does bow know? All right, so that's gonna slot into something. I don't see anything to slot into. Oh, no, no, there we go, there we go. I knew I was missing, yeah, duh, okay. We got it. Do we got it? Does it go the other way? I think it might go the other way. Yep, yeah, there it goes, all right, cool. I knew that should have been a lot easier than it was, and I don't know why I had trouble with it. <laughs> and you got the satchel. Satchel does not open, that's all right. And we put the bandolier satchel over the, uh, the C-3PO. I don't know why I almost called him all or two. I like that this is probably the first 3PO that ever has a gun hand. I can't, I can't remember any 3PO that ever has like a trigger finger style hand going on, so. Of course, he still doesn't quite want to get in there. Almost, almost, don't break, don't break. I got real lucky finding this figure and I think he's gonna be one of the popular ones. <laughs> That's good enough, I can make that work. But yeah, that, that bandolier does not wanna stay up on him, so I'm kinda wondering if there's actually gonna be jokes about that in the movie, like if it just keeps slipping off. Like how some ladies I know, I, I now know from Mary's experience that uh, bra strap slippage is a thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you wanna, is there a way to like make that stay on a little better? I don't know. I guess gravity will do the trick when he's standing. But there's C-3PO with Baba Frick, I guess, and IG-11, and Commander Fox, 
and a shock trooper, and I love it. So that's what I think about these. What do you all think about these? Are you going to pick them up? Have you picked them up? Who else would you like to see made in the Black Series? There's so many characters. Please no Mando spoilers unless you actually say spoiler first, just in case. Because listen, it is really unfair that people overseas um, didn't get a, you know, a chance to see this before we have to talk about it. So let's try and preserve some of those surprises as best we can. I know it's impossible to do it completely, but you know, it, it doesn't hurt to try. Be a good person. All right, but tell me what you think. Comment below. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Check out my Patreon because I've been doing Star Wars movie fan commentaries and some of them are free. And I love, other than that, I guess you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And now I'm going to get out of here so I can go open up some more stuff and I'll talk to you all later. May the force be with you always. Mm -hmm.